Hello and welcome. In this video, I will uh, take you uh, through the steps I took to set up the sound of my previous soundscape uh, on the Crave. It reminded me of a mouth harp or Jules harp. Um, so it's a nice little patch. So let's dive right into it. First, starting up in the Crave. If no pattern is entered, uh, the Crave will play a bass note in repetition when you press play or when it's started by an external clock. So when I press play and you will hear the bass sounds. So you can set the decay and the sustain. You can already hear a little bit the sound I made because I didn't put everything back. Um, let's start with the first patch. We need two cables for this one. First one is from the oscillator pulse to the VCF resolution. So this is the oscillator pulse and here's the VCF resolution. Maybe you can hear the difference already. So it creates the mouthy sound of the mouth harp. So in combination with the pulse width, you can fiddle around with it a bit. The modulation doesn't come into it yet. The cutoff defines a bit the tone. You don't want to have that too high. Resonance does a bit too. And the mod does a bit with the tone too, but that's too much. So I got the pulse width on the sawtooth. I can put it on square, but that's what I like. And then the next patch is from the LFSO LFO square to the Oscillator mod. I use the square because it sounds a bit more staccato. Here, the oscillator mod. You can hear it already. I can use the. This is a bit more slopey, this is more staccato. And what this does, it helps you vary the bass tone as well. So this is on one note and then if you put up the oscillator mod, it will alternate between some sounds. Make sure the LFO rate is not too high and not too low maybe. Get it in sync, or you can get it a bit out of sync to make a bit more variation in the sound. So that's the basics of this patch. So if you have any questions, please write down below. And thanks for watching, and hope you liked it.